is finally Friday. Hopefully you have tomorrow off if you haven't been off all week. Today is back day, and I don't mean just your back. We're going to hit your back, your glutes, and some of the exercises are going to even hit your hamstrings, and some of them are even going to hit your core, and if we have a little bit of time, I'll even throw some core in there. Um, backs are important for a lot of reasons. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't prepared to make that one, was I? Uh, strong abs, strong back, they support each other. You want both of these to be strong, not just this one. So there's a lot of combo moves in this one. And today, I actually have it set up a little different. We have, <clears throat> the way we're going to do exercise is 60 seconds, one move, then there's a complimentary move for 30 seconds, and then you get a 10 second water break. But first, I want to, um, I guess first we'll warm up. So, warm up, let's get our back warmed up in there. I want to start warm ups with a vacuum. So, here we go. Big inhale in, feel the rib cage expand. Blow all of your air out, even when you think it's all out, you still have air in there. And then suck your gut in till it's completely flat. Or it looks like it's completely flat. And hold it for as long as you can. Hold it for 10 and do another one. Take a deep breath. Okay, inhale up. Let it all out. Pull it in. Hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. As I always say, these you can always play around with and do also while you're driving when you stop at a stop sign. Hold it in until the light turns green. Um, during a commercial, while you're standing, when you take your walk to the bathroom, um, little things like that. Find a way to stick those in there. It'll help build up some strength in your abs. One more, inhale up. Exhale it all out. And draw it in. Last one. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. I hope everybody had a good day today. And I hope everybody had a good week. If you're watching, good for you. It's Friday. Just because it's Friday, you are in your house. We're quarantined. There's no reason why you're not watching. Instead of watching, blow it all out. You could be following along. So don't just be a voyeur. Get in there and get some work done. We're going to start with some light jump ropes. Move your arms. It'll help get your heart rate up. I'm not good at jumping rope. Either that or I need a heavier rope. I don't know. I do this with a regular jump rope and I get nothing. Thank you. Are you working out? Reverse it, pretend we're back jumping. Yay, keep your knees soft when you're doing it. If your knees are bothering you, you can always hang out right here. Keep it going for a second. We're going to head off into inchworm. can even jump around if you like. Inchworm, arms up overhead. Slow roll it down, walk it out. Walk your feet in, stand it up, turn it around, do it back. Slow up, go down, we got a couple more. You can also do these standing in place. I'll do it when my butt's not facing you. Reach out as far as you can reach out. 
Inhale. Do it in place. If you don't have a lot of room in your living room, reach it all the way out as far as you can go when you feel like you're going to fall. And come back. Last one. This one I'm going to show you instead of waiting to right before the exercise. I wore a tank top today, so hopefully you can see how we retract and protract shoulder blades. So this is your squeeze and release. You can do them like a bear hug. Pinch them together, hug up front. Ah, I'm so surprised to see you, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. There's another one that I want to show you. This one, your arms are going up. When you have them, usually I do a shoulder roll before every exercise when it's for posture. You bring your shoulders up, roll them back, and sit them down. You can also do them this way. When you're up, they're up, sit them down. Roll them up, sit them down. Let's do 10 of those. There you go, there's that one. Okay. Roll out the neck. We've been sitting all day. We're gonna roll everything all the way down. Roll it the other way. I forgot to turn my music on. Ow, that crack woke up. Shoulders back for five. Forward. Roll them out. Small circles, small back ones, medium forwards, medium back, big ones, little ones, or backwards, sorry. Hips, let's open up those hips, soft knees, circle rolls, and it's just the hips, we're not doing this whole Thing right here. We'll get bigger in a second. Start with small ones. Roll them the other way. Make them a little bit bigger. Now let's go for the huge ones. You can actually put your hands above your head and roll. Get your sides in there, your back, stretch out your abs, your chest. Let's go the other way. Work on down to your knees. Put your feet together, close enough together. Roll out knees. They've been bent all day, sitting behind your desk, sitting on your couch whatever you were doing with it today, but I know you were not walking because if you're in the greater Cleveland area, it snowed all day today. Ankles. Pick them up. Roll them puppies out. Other way. Shake them out. Hands up. Swing them forward. It's easier if you stare into one spot so you don't lose your balance. Keep your knees soft. Other side. I actually have to look at the ground. Let's put my hands off to the side.
out. Wow, I have no sense of balance today. Where are we at? Wow, we're at eight minutes. Okay, that's because I already showed you how to do one of those moves. Very good. So grab your drink. We are headed into our first 60 minutes, 60 second, um, 60 second exercise. I want to show you the hinge real quick first. This is one way, you know how I always tell you flat back? Take your broomstick, I just took the top off of it. Put one side at your head right here. The other one goes by your tailbone. You want them to totally stay connected. You put your feet about hip width apart, keep your knees soft, and you're actually just bending at the waist. See how my hand stays on my head and it stays at my tailbone. Inhale on the way down. Exhale and pinch your glutes on the way up. That is a hip hinge and I showed you that because we are going to deadlift. If you don't have weights, you can always grab your broomstick or if you have a book bag, a duffel bag or anything of that nature, you can always grab your bag because a deadlift looks just like this. Actually, let's just do it. I'll do it once with a bag and then I'll do it with a weight and you can even do it with a band. Ready? And dead. Grab your bag, soft knees, touch the ground, squeeze cheeks, pop up. Slow down, inhale, Exhale, squeeze. You should feel this in your hamstrings too. This is good for your back, your abs, kind of, um, I meant to say your hamstrings, and your glutes. So it's targeting all three of those spots in your back, not your abs. Sort of your abs because your top is going down. It's one of the rotational moves, but it more focuses on. Okay, so that was the backpack version of it. Now we have bent over flies. I'm not sure how to do bent over flies with a bag. If you have your water bottles, you're going to hinge forward just like we did with the broomstick and you're not locking your arms out. You're squeezing your shoulder blades behind you. Keeping your knees soft. Now you get your 10 second water break and we're going to go back to deadlift. If you have a band, you can do deadlift with your band. Keep your hands, if, there, if there's too much slack, just grab a smaller spot. Down, pull it up. down. Your head stays in the same direction as your back is going. This will prevent any neck pain, a sudden jerk, which could hurt, a pop, something of that nature. A chest fly. You can take your band if you want some added resistance. I can't 
and all that. Anyhow, I wasn't prepared. I will, we will do a whole band class. I promise. I'll rectify that one. Take your 10 second break. You've got one. We've got one more. And this one's purely dumbbell. So side view. Dead. Pop. Keep the bar close. Bells. Bar. Close to you. Squeeze your cheeks. Get a good rhythm going. No rounding on the back. Notice the back is flat. We're not doing none of this. That's going to hurt you later. Pull your abs in. It'll help protect your back. Almost done with this round. Two. In the fly. Ready? Slight hinge. Back still flat. Squeeze. Notice the shoulder blades. It's a squeeze. Pinch them together. Head stays in alignment. Anytime you're doing a back movement, you don't turn your head in another direction. This is what it looks like when I bent over. Squeeze. Take your 10 second water break. Our next round of exercises, we have plank rows and a superman. So this one, we're actually in plank. So we're down here. You can do this on your knees. It's the same squeeze, pinch, pinch. Your abs are in, protecting your back, and you're squeezing your shoulder blade back. Inhale, exhale on the work. We're gonna notice my waist is not moving. We're not going all the way in here because we're not doing a twist. Keep your hips stable and your back straight. If it hurts your hands to be on the bar, bar, barbell, switch them off. It takes a little bit of extra time. You're losing it, but everybody needs to grow a callus on their hand. After that, we have Superman. So get down. Inhale, squeeze cheeks, lift hand up, and just keep going. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, squeeze cheeks. Hold, release. Hold, because we're almost done. Now you get your 10 second water break, and we are back to plank rows. You can grab a water bottle to do it. If you have weight plates, you can use weight plates. Let's try to aim for our toes. Ready? The wider your legs are, the wider your feet are apart. The more stable your stance. hands okay with it? The other is not. Squeeze it. Almost done. Five seconds left. Keep going. Superman. Down. Face in same position. Squeeze up. Release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale. 
Squeeze. Hold it. You got five seconds. You can hold it. Squeeze your cheeks together. And there you go. Take your water break. We have one round left. Oops. Are you in position? Let's go. Pull it. Pull it. As long as you're in plank, we're also working the entire body. So you are hitting abs, chest, back, glutes, quads, hamstrings, wrists, forearms. Concentrate on the squeeze. Don't let momentum get you out of it. position as they call it or tabletop. Your knees are in line with your hips and your wrists are in line with your shoulders. So it's we're going to do the same. You're, it's called a uh, quadruple push up. Dip, pinch your shoulder blades together. It'll dip, pull them apart. Dip, pull them apart. So your back will slightly arch but not by much. We got that followed by an Aquaman, which is kind of the same as a Superman, only our arms are up front. Are we ready? Get in your quadruple position. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Inhale, exhale. Focus on your shoulder blades, we're working back. If you're not feeling it, you're doing something wrong. All it is is a squeeze and a release. Squeeze, release. If you're feeling it, you're doing an awesome job, keep it up. If you're not feeling it, let me know. We'll see what's going on back there. Face down for Superman. Arms up in front of you, legs behind, kick. You're gonna hold it right here. There's no up and down, we're swimming. Keep your head in line so your eyes should be actually be down at your floor. Keep them up. This one's only 30 seconds. Keep your cheeks squeezed. You got your break. We're back into shoulder blade push-ups. Ready? See if you can do this on your toes. Squeeze, release.
You can keep your arms out to the side and go this way, but either way, your arms are not down, your arms are moving. And so are your feet. Remember to breathe and keep your cheeks squeezed. Your 10 second break, we got one more round left. Ready, squeeze, release. Inhale down, exhale out. Wow. My nutrition must be off today. I eat beans and it totally throws me off. And then I feel so bloated, I just munch for the day. I have good stuff, but still just munch instead of having an all-out meal. And that does affect your workout. So, if you're feeling sluggish during a workout, it's because you need food. Food is your main fuel. Last Aquaman! Do it up! Food is your fuel for working out. If you are tired, you obviously didn't eat enough, or you didn't eat before your workout, and you could eat like 30 minutes before, but nothing heavy. I did have a protein shake. Obviously, that wasn't enough. We'll have to bone that back up tomorrow. Beans are good for you, but they don't like me at all. Take your drink. We have bridge, so you're on your back. Bridge and a pullover. Bridge. Feet close to your butt. Squeeze cheeks up. Release. Up. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale down. Exhale up. It's Friday, my brain is like everywhere. Squeeze cheeks up. Almost there, keep going. Straight line, notice there is a straight line from knees to shoulders. That's what we're looking for. Pullovers. Grab your weight or whatever you are using. Put it behind your head. Keep your elbows not locked. Keep your elbows bent. Yeah, that's what it is. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it over above your chest. Inhale. Don't let it tap the ground because then you're taking the muscle out of play. Now you take your break. We're back on to bridge, but we're going to add a little tweak to bridge because we're going to pulse. Ready? And up, pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. Release, inhale, exhale out for five. Hold it right there. Hold it. I'm watching you. I can't actually see you, but release it. Take a breath. Exhale. Squeeze. You're going to hold it right here. You've got an eight second hold. Breathe through it and hold it. You're going to feel it in your butt cheeks. And there you go. 
pull over, grab your weight or whatever it is you were using. Inhale, exhale, push. You can use a milk jug filled with water. You can get sand at Lowe's or Home Depot, get some water bottles and fill them. You got your break. And we have one more round of um, Blue Bridge. We're actually gonna march this one out. So in, squeeze, up, lift, two, three, Release it. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze up. Stay here, stay here, three seconds. Push it out. Woo, wait. Last pull over, grab that weight. Touch down, inhale, pull. Don't let it touch down, no more. Pull. Next week, the next round, we have clamshells and frog pumps. So clamshell, lay over on your side. And you lift your, keep your feet stacked and just lift your knee. Your hip, notice it doesn't go anywhere. So we're not doing any of this. There's no rolling on the mat. It's a lift and lower. This one we're actually going to have to do four rounds of because... Oh, you can't do one side twice and one side once. Squeeze. <sighs> Inhale on the down, exhale and squeeze on the up. Nice and slow. Frog pump. So your feet go together like a diamond. They get put out in front of you, and it's a little hip butt squeeze. Your hip just comes ever so slightly off the ground. 30 seconds. Pump it. It's good for your hip muscles in here because we've been sitting all day and for your rear end because I'm sure it's going to thank you later. Take your break. We're going back over for clamshell, other side. There we go. Stack feet. Up and squeeze. My left side isn't as open as my other side. So we're opening up in here and we're squeezing from back here. You should be feeling it in there. Right in here. You can always grab your weight if you'd like and put your weight like near your knee. You can put a um, mini loop band if you have one around your knees before you lay down to add some resistance to this. We can even, even if you have a long loop band, you can wrap it around your legs. Pump, pump. Feet 
together, knees as far out as you can get them, squeeze cheeks. Squeeze them up. Remember, all the exercises we're doing, they're gonna strengthen your muscles, but if you wanna see those muscles, you gotta start cutting back on your pop, your sugar, your white flour, your bread, your pastas. I'm not saying you can't eat them at all. Take your 10 second break while you're doing it. Flip it over, we got clamshell. Ready? Roll it. I like tea. You should drink lots of water. And I like tea. So I get those little no calorie packets of tea. I brew me some green tea. I put it all in a gallon jug. I throw some um, Lipton ice, Lipton tea bags in there. I also like, uh, I'll have to get you the brand name of it. If you like a blended tea that's got cinnamon and chai and all that other good stuff in there, there's a really good one. I put one bag of that in there and then I put my no calorie tea packet in there and that's my water for the day and my tea. Tea is good for you. So they say, it is. Got all good benefits in it. And Lipton is one of the better breads to get. On your back, another frog pump. We got two more of these frog pumps to go. Let's go. Squeeze it up. Keep pushing those. If your butt's feeling it and it's sore, I don't give a damn. Really, <laughs> that's the whole point of it. If something's not, if you're not feeling something, then we need to step up the game. And we can start stepping up the game, just say the word. Take your 10 second break. We have clamshell again, other side. This is our last clamshell. Get that last leg in, do it up, stack feet, hips stay square. If you are on my regular Facebook page, I cannot see any comments you're leaving because you're on my phone. You need to, tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 10, I do a Saturday class at 10 o'clock, migrate over to Diamond Strength, Fit, Diamond Strength Fitness's page, because sooner or later, I don't know how many of my friends still want to keep seeing my workout, but if you want me to see your comments, you have to go on Diamond Strength Fitness because there I have it on my laptop projected on my big TV and then I can see comments. Almost there. And then we can frog pump and then we can stretch. This took a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but hey, your back really needs it. How often do you work that sucker? Over, last frog pump. Squeeze it. Don't use your arms. Brace your abs. Push your hips out. Let me know if you have weight sets at home. I can do more dumbbell workouts. I can do more barbell workouts. If you have weight plates, we can stretch now. So take your breath and grab a drink of water. You can even do it with weight plates instead of dumbbells. We could do that. Um, resistance bands, whatever you have. Oh, what I started to say, Lowe's does sell sand. You can get a couple of Ziploc bags. If you're concerned about how much it weighs, you can actually put them on your weight scale, weigh out the bands, um, bags. Stick them in a duffel bag. And then you can have weights when we do squats and whatnot. You can stick them in a water bottle. I actually have, you've got these at the dollar store. You could get these really big bottles right here. I'm not sure what the poundage would be if you stuck sand in there, but I'm pretty sure you can get quite a bit in there to get a decent weight in there for you. And it's nice and curvy around the middle. Go into child's pose, nice and curvy around the middle so you get a nice hand grip in there. Deep breath. Put your arms all the way out in front. 
you should get a nice stretch up in here in your shoulder blade area and in your back. Lean down into one arm, get a little bit of a deeper stretch in there. I use my head to push a little. Other side. Walk your hands over to the left. Feel a nice stretch along the side of your rib cage. Slowly walk back over to the middle, take a breath, and go over to the right side, and hold. You should feel it like all right here. This is the like most epic side stretch. I like this better than the standing side stretch. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Come over back slow into the middle. Up on all fours. Tabletop, quadra, whatever you want to call it. Cat cow. Breathe in, round your back, chin to chest. Exhale and release it. Inhale up. I got a nice back opener. You know how we did clamshell? Get the back down in that position. Your knees are bent at around 45, but this time your arms are out in front of you, both of them. Put them on top of each other. Take your eyes and watch your fingertips. We're going to glide over ever so slowly to the other side. And drop your shoulder blade as close to the ground as you can. You can use your other hand to hold down your leg to get a little bit of a deeper stretch in there. And wow, I must not have done this stretch in a while because it feels really good right now. I feel tight. Let's loosen that up. Big breath. Come back over so that you're evenly proportioned. Roll up over to the other side. And this is what it looks like from the other side. Hands on top of each other. Follow your hand over to the other side. You should feel a nice good stretch right in the low back right there. Back up to center. Grab knees, pull them into your chest. Roll. Sway. Whatever you want to call it. Into the ground. Give yourself a nice little back massage. Your back. Roll it up. Come on to your knees. We're going to come up slow. Actually, we can hang out right here for a second. Grab the back of your legs. Let's stretch out our hamstrings a little bit. Deadlifts definitely did tap those. Breathe. Slow roll up. Three monster inhales, up to the sky, let it go, up one more, 
I lied because it's always three. Up. And we're done. Awesome job. You made it through a 45 minute back exercise. I hope you enjoyed that one. I have a ton more of those. Um, I am on on Saturdays at 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday. I'm here, we'll say five ish, because that's my way of saying I'm trying to be there at five, but sometimes it's a little bit thereafter. Um, have yourself a good weekend. Don't spread your germs. Keep your ass in the house. If you're looking for something a little more personalized, I do offer online training, and I can give it to you during this difficult time in our lives at a very ridiculously low price. Just call or text me. I'm at 216-870-4455, and I can set you up with a plan. I can't give you any nutrition plans at this point in the game because I'm not there yet, but I can give you guidance on what you shouldn't eat, um, things you can eat, things that are good for you, anything you need of that nature. But I can do a workout plan tailored exactly to the way you want it if you like. No reasonable offer is refused. So call or text me or send me a message on Facebook or through Messenger and I'll be happy to talk about that with you. If you are part of our first responders team, I thank you very much. You're the heroes of our day. You keep yourselves healthy, and after this is all over, you have a lifetime discount at Diamond Strength Fitness should you decide to join me, and I hope that you do. We'll see you soon, tomorrow morning. If not, I will see you Monday, but you should bring your ass in tomorrow morning too. I love you, have a good evening. Hi, Jamie. Oh, Jamie was on there. Um, Jamie, Jamie. Mel's Jamie. Thanks for giving him a number.